Hi everyone, in this video we'll be downloading and setting up MySQL and my main aim is to show you how I've set it up with Sublime Text so that you can run your MySQL command from within Sublime Text and get the output right there. So if you have already uh, installed MySQL and you have it running on your command prompt then uh, you can head over to the description where I've given a timestamp to where I start talking about the Sublime Text aspect of it. and um, let's come to the download now so as far as the download is concerned I'm not going to be going over it um, in very detail so uh, you should head over to mysql.com slash downloads and go to mysql community downloads right here um, from here uh, in my case I could just do mysql installer for windows because I'm using windows and that's what I'll be focusing on but uh, what you essentially want is the mysql server so uh, once you have that, once you do uh, download and install MySQL, the installation process should be pretty straightforward. So once you do that, uh, what you want to do for you to be able to run the MySQL command from your uh, CMD itself is to head over to uh, wherever MySQL is installed. So in my case, it will be in program files, MySQL. And here I want to go into the MySQL server and bin. and here you should notice that there are these commands which includes mysql.exe so I want to copy this uh, copy this path right here and I want to add it to my environment variables so let's just head over to our environment variables and go on to path so here I just create a new one and paste the path right here and hit ok but in my case you can see that I already have the path right here so uh, I'm going to cancel this and uh, let's come back to our terminal. So even at this point when you uh, just type MySQL, in my case it will work but you might get an error. In that case what you want to do is you want to open MySQL installer and uh, go over to MySQL server and hit reconfigure. So here you want to leave the port to 3306 preferably if you want to change it uh, shouldn't be too much of a problem unless you use that port for some other purposes as well. So leave it to 3306 and hit next and uh, just use the strong password encryption which is recommended hit next and uh, in my case it's asking me for the current root password and um, I can just uh, enter that and I hit check in your case it will ask you for a new root password so just enter a new root password and head over to this screen uh, you'll see start mysql server at system startup I'm going to leave it um, I did leave it as it was so whenever my computer starts the mysql server is going to start as well so I hit next here without changing anything and I can hit execute which is what you want to do you want to execute all of these steps but I've already done that so uh, no need to worry about that let me just hit cancel and um, yes so I'm fine here and now what I can do is I can hit uh, mysql dash u root and dash p if it stands for password it asks me for the password I enter the password and you can see here it has taken me inside of MySQL so I'm in the MySQL shell right now and I can hit show databases and this should show me the databases so here I have tutorial DB which is a database that I created uh, you can just create one using uh, create database uh, tutorial DB and before you head to the sublime text uh, setup you want a database because you're going to set up sublime text with a particular database so now let's head over to sublime text and here what I want to do is I want to hit control shift P and uh, I want to type package so in my case it's giving me all of these options and the reason it's giving me all of these options is because uh, I have package control installed if you don't have package control installed you should have an option which says uh, install package control just hit that and it will do the installation after which you should have all of these uh, options so here I just want to go on to install package and uh, now it's going to ask me what package I want to install so I want to install SQL tools so this is the one and I just select SQL tools and it's already done with the installation 
so I can close this as well now when I go on to preferences and package settings it does show SQL tools right here and at this point uh, what I can do is I can hold control and hit E twice and it asks me what connection I want to connect to in your case it might say uh, you need to set up a connection first so just go on to preferences package settings SQL tools and connections and here uh, is what I've entered right here so uh, this is just a copy paste from here I just copied that and uh, for the type I've entered MySQL for the host I've entered localhost because I'm running it on my computer itself for the port it's 3306 for the database it's tutorial DB which I've created uh, the username and password in my case is both root if you have a different username password combination just enter that and the encoding I've just left as is and uh, once you do enter all of this just save it and you can close this and then when you hit uh, when you hold control and hit E twice it should give you an option as to which uh, database you want to connect to so just select tutorial DB and now what I can do is I can say show tables I already have a, uh, a really small table created in this uh, just one thing you need to remember is if you want to run all of the commands in the file then uh, you need not select anything and just hit uh, control and E twice so hold control and hit E twice if you want to run a specific command then select that command and then hit uh, control E twice and now you can see it's giving me a tutorial table and uh, I could also have some different commands something like uh, DESC tutorial table and uh, I can select this and execute that so this is giving me the description of the table I could do something like select star uh, select star from tutorial table um, that's it maybe so let me just select this I think the table is empty so this is not going to give me any output at all so this is how you can uh, download MySQL and set it up with sublime text uh, this is something that's really useful you don't have to go back to the terminal uh, again and again you can also have commands written down and just uh, select them and execute them as many times as you want so uh, I think this is something really useful it simplifies the development process I hope this video helped you if it did don't forget to give it a like if you haven't subscribed to my channel hit the subscribe button and share the video with your friends so that uh, they can also set up MySQL with Sublime Text. I'll see you some other time.